Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. In this video, I am going to talk about the problem brick wall of lead code. Index number is 554 and the problem is of one of the medium type problems of lead code. Okay. So before proceeding further, in this uh, problem statement, I just want to just recall the tags associated to solve this problem. You can solve this problem with the help of hash map or you can also uh, solve this problem with the help of binary search. Okay. So hash map solution is going to be very common for everyone and you can find it everywhere but I am going to talk about the binary search approach for this problem okay so let's begin how to solve this problem with the help of binary search okay so first uh, let us read it out the problem statement and then we will together find it out the best solution of this problem okay so there is a brick wall in front of us that is you can see in the example this is the brick wall and uh, the wall is going to be rectangular as, uh, and has several rows of bricks the bricks have the same height but different width you can see the height of the bricks or you can say this is one the heat is always going to be one one and so you can see the if you are going to consider the width if first one would be of one then second one would be of two and then two and then one okay so width is going to be different for every particular row and we want to draw a vertical line from top to bottom and cross the least bricks okay so our task is to just draw a vertical line and that vertical line should cross the least amount of bricks okay so now what is the basically definition of this crossing of brick okay so let's understand that now the brick wall is going to be represented by list of rows okay and if our line go through the edge of a brick that is you can see if you draw a vertical line and if it is going to cross the end of the brick that is the edge of the brick then that brick is not considered as crossed okay and we need to find out how to draw the line to cross the least amount of bricks okay and return the number of crossed bricks okay basically we want to just draw a line and we want to minimize the total number of crossed bricks that is if you want to draw a line and that line should cross the minimum number of bricks okay and uh, you can see the we, we should not consider those bricks that is going to cross the edge okay and we cannot draw a line just along the two vertical edges of the wall in which case the line will obviously cross none of the bricks okay that is we cannot we are not going to consider the edges of this wall okay by drawing the vertical line over the edges of the wall okay so if you are not going to understand this now no need to worry about i'm going to, i'm going to just explain this entire scenario entire problem statement and the meaning on each and every line with the help of example also okay so stay tuned for now okay so let's talk about the constraints okay so because if you consider the hash map solution of this problem or the binary search for this problem the constraints are going to play a very vital role for understanding the solution okay so let's uh, and read it out the width sum of the bricks in different rows are going to be same that is for the first row or the second row for uh, or any of the row the width sum that is the total sum of the bricks is going to be constant for every row okay and it won't exceed the anti max that is anti max is the values around 10 power 9 and it is not going to cross the 10 power 9 value that is the maximum sum of the width of the bricks for every row can go up to 10 power 9 or you can say the int max value okay and the number of bricks in each row is going to be like 10 power 4 that is maximum number of bricks and the height of the wall is in the range of 10 power 4 also and the most important thing that is the total number of bricks of the wall won't exceed 2 into 10 power 4 this is going to be very much important how this is going to be very much important uh, let me discuss uh, further in this video okay so let's move further to understand the entire scenario with the help of example okay so let's move further okay so basically i have just drawn the, over the brick wall and the number of bricks for every row and uh, these are going to draw the width of the bricks okay now let's try to figure it out what the problem statement says that is if we want to draw a line we are not going to draw the line on this edge of this wall also we are not going to draw this uh, on the line of this edge of this wall that is we are going to draw the lines on any of this position between these two edges of this wall okay now let's try to figure it out how this uh, answer is going to come about okay so let's say if you are drawing this line over here it means that it is going to cross three bricks that is a brick that is going to present on the first row second row and third row you can easily see this one this one and this one so our answer in this case would be going to be three okay and let's try to figure it out what are the different positions of this vertical line that we can we are going to choose to minimize this answer three okay now you can see in general what is the maximum answer possible maximum answer possible is just we are going to cross the bricks on every row so maximum answer possible is always going to be n n is going to be the number of rows present over the wall okay now uh, let's say we are going to draw the vertical line over here okay you can see the this vertical line is going to cross the edge of this brick 
and this is also going to cross the edge of this brick but this is not going to cross the uh, edge of this uh, brick present over the last okay so what is the maximum number of bricks that it is good this vertical line is going to cross you can easily see it is coming out to be one okay now this is going to be the one of the answers okay now we sh we need to just consider the all the positions of this vertical line so how we are going to do that okay so let's try to figure it out what are the more possible lines that we are going to draw to minimize this answer one again okay so let's try to draw the vertical line over here okay so this is not a one we are, if we are going to draw this vertical line exactly it is going to be like uh, it it is not just crossing the any of the brick you can see it is just crossing the edges of this brick as i've already told that if this line is going to cross the edge of the brick it is not going to be considered as crossed uh, brick okay so in this case our answer is going to be zero okay so if we have been asked what is the minimum number of bricks that this line is going to cross over this wall if we consider the drawing of vertical line over any of this positions of this wall our answer would be like zero okay so i have just drawn a i have just uh, demonstrated the method of brute force that is we are going to draw the positions of the lines okay so let's say for uh, answering a general answer for every wall what is the minimum number of bricks that it is going to cross if we draw a vertical line over here okay now you can see our width sum you can see width sum for every row which is going to be constant and it is going to be less than equal to 10 power 9 which is around int max okay now if you consider the positions starting from 1 up to the 10 power 9 and draw a vertical line over all these positions and let's try to find out what are the number of bricks that is going to be crossed you can easily see our time complexity would be like 10 power 9 into you can easily see 10 power 9 into the number of uh, rows into the maximum number of bricks that is going to be possible it is always going to be like uh, more than 10 power 9 iterations okay or it is also going to be like more than 10 power 15 okay because uh, number of bricks is be like 2 into 10 power 4. it makes it very much larger amount. but i need the total number of iterations should be like around 10 power 7 okay so let's try to figure it out how this could be possible okay so let me just uh, prove uh, prove that how, how we are going to fit the answers in this case in the most possible way with the help of binary search okay so if we are going to just draw a vertical line over any of this position i just need the three four parameters you can see three four positions of this brick wall okay so let us try to draw a vertical line okay so this is a vertical line and let us try to draw the positions of this brick that is you can easily see if i am going to draw the positions of this brick uh, that is it can lie up to like this one that is the starting position of this my current brick and the ending position of this current brick is going to be less than this vertical line and also if you are just going to draw this brick it should it may be like just the starting position is going to be strictly less than this uh, position of this line and the ending position is going to be like coinciding with this vertical line okay this may be the position of this brick okay and let's try to figure it out some more cases that is starting position is just going to coincide with this and ending position is going to be just strictly greater than this brick position this is vertical line okay and there might be some case like uh, this one also position of this brick but uh, if you just memorize one thing or if you just have a common sense you can easily see there might be some chance that this position of this brick is also possible okay that is the starting position is going to be like uh, less than the position of this uh, brick wall sorry this position of this line and ending position is going to be greater than this position of this vertical line okay so in that case you can easily see that this line is going to just cross the brick crossing brick that is this brick is going to be crossed our answer should be incremented by one if you are going to count the number of bricks that this vertical line is going to cross okay so let me just generalize one thing let me just first erase this stuff okay so this is just basic idea that i am going to use to just answer this question okay now in general you just claim that uh, i have just two possible conditions that is number of starting positions of this brick for any vertical line is always going to be like greater than or equal to number of ending positions of this vertical line okay why this is going to be possible okay so that is uh, s is going to denote the starting positions of this brick okay s t a r t i n the starting positions of this brick 
and E is going to denote the ending positions of this break. Okay, number of starting positions of this break is always going to be like greater than or equal to number of ending positions of this uh, break for any positions of this line. That is, you can see if you have in line over here. Okay, so I'm just talking about this line. Okay, this is also not fair. Okay, this is line that is uh, starting and ending position both are going to be less or both are going to in ending position is just going to coincide or just uh, it should be like this one. In that case, you can see ending position is going to reduce by one, but the starting position is still less than or equal to this line. Okay, uh, so starting position is always going to be less greater than or equal to the ending position. So this is going to just give us the idea that uh, rather than just performing a brute force approach or using the hash map solution. Why not we just store the starting positions of the all of the bricks? That is, uh, I'm just saying that. Uh, okay, so let me just uh, explain in much better way. Okay, so this is the width one, and this is width two, and this is width two again, and this is width one again. Okay, so what are the starting positions of this brick? Okay, you can just easily see the starting position of this brick is going to be like uh, zero. And if this bit, uh, if this break is going to be, have the width of one, ending position is one. And again, uh, this uh, what is the starting position of this break? It is again one, and ending position is going to be like three. And this again three, and this again five, and this again five is starting position, ending position going to be like six. Okay. So uh, again, if you uh, if you try to just answer the queries, why not just uh, store the starting positions separately? In a vector and ending positions for all these bricks separately in a vector. Okay, if we store the starting and ending positions separately in a vector like this one and this one, basically I have just stored the starting and ending positions of all these bricks. Okay, and if we try to answer that, uh, what are the total number of uh, you can say uh, bricks that are going to be like whose starting positions is going to be? Less than or uh, strictly less than, okay, strictly less than, strictly less than the particular positions of this line, okay. So if we try to draw a vertical line over here, you can easily see what are the total number of starting positions that are going to be strictly less than this vertical line. Note that I am talking about strictly less than because if some positions is going to be like just uh, coincide, whose starting position is just coinciding with this line and an ending position is just going to be greater than this line, position of this line. I am not just going to consider these uh, breaks because it is always not passing th through these uh, breaks, okay. This line is not passing through these breaks, okay. So, if I am just going to consider all those positions, whose uh, starting positions, whose, uh, whose position is going to be strictly less than this position of this vertical line, okay. So, there might be condition that we have this one or we have this one, okay. Now, if we just if we just store the starting positions of all these breaks, and I have just stored the ending positions of all these breaks, our answer would be like total number of uh, breaks whose uh, starting positions is going to be less than this position of this line. Let's say call it as S, and let's say total number of ending positions whose uh, whose value is going to be like uh, less than or equal to this uh, position of this line. Let's call it as E. Our answer would be like S minus E. Okay. And how we can calculate this uh, S minus E value efficiently? Okay. So we can calculate this uh, S minus E value efficiently with the help of binary search. Okay. Uh, we can. Uh, you can use a C plus uh, plus upper bound function that is going to just calculate the upper bound of this. Let's say we are going to calculate the upper bound of this two. Our answer would be like this index. Okay. And let's say we are cal calculating the upper bound of this three. Let's say we are at this index. It can be easily calculated with the C++ HTL upper bound function. Okay, or we can also write if you are using Python or any other programming languages, you can also implement this binary search. Okay. Now, why this S minus E is going to be valid? Okay, you can easily see uh, S is always going to be like subset of this E. So, if uh, if some uh, breaks is going to just cross this vertical line, it means that I am just just uh, not calculating. This positions of E in my answers, okay. The E that is number of breaks whose ending position is going to be greater than, strictly greater than this position of this line is not going to be included in my answer, okay. So just I have calculated total number of starting positions minus total number of ending positions whose value is going to be like uh, strictly less than for the starting position and uh, less than or equal to for the ending position. If we subtract this value, the value that we are going to obtain. Is, uh, is the value nothing for like uh, the no, number of breaks whose uh, 
starting position is going to be less than or equal to okay sorry less than this position of this vertical line and the ending position is going to be like strictly greater than this position of this vertical, uh, vertical line and this is going to be our answer okay so basically this is our answer okay so now how we are going to just calculate this stuff okay you can easily see the total number of bricks that if you are going to just look for this constraints total number of bricks in each row is going to be like this one and the height of the wall is going to be like this one and total number of bricks of this wall won't exceed this 20,000 that is the total number of bricks that is going to be present over this entire wall is going to be like its count is like 20,000 it is nothing but 2 into 10 power 4 okay now this value is like 2 into 10 power 4 and what are the total number of possible starting positions that we can have it is also going to be like 2 into 10 power 4 maximum okay and ending position maximum is like 2 into 10 power 4 also so okay so for every brick that is for every brick ending position i am just going to calculate uh, that is the position of the line starting at this ending position that is if you are not going to understand that is, let's say i am just going to iterate for all the bricks that is this brick this brick and this brick up to this brick okay and for every brick i am just drawing a vertical line let's say i am at this brick i am just trying to draw this vertical line passing through this edge of this brick okay uh, why i am going to do that it is also obvious that if you try to just draw a vertical line through one of the bricks then this that answer is always going to be reduced by one that is maximum answer is always going to be reduced by one okay so because this brick uh, we are just passing a vertical line over this uh, edge of this brick okay so our answer all would be always like n minus 1 okay the maximum answer minus 1 okay if this edge is going to be if this brick has edge not coinciding with the edge of this wall okay so i can just pass a vertical line through this edge of this brick okay so just i am going to just traverse over all the uh, bricks and trying to just draw vertical line over this edge of this brick and if this edge has a vertical line uh, sorry if this brick has a vertical line whose uh, you can say whose ending position is just we have found and just we have iterated to the binary search or you can say i've just used binary search upper bound over this starting position and over this ending position and i've just calculated total number of bricks whose starting positions is going to be like uh, strictly less than this current position let's call it as e passing through this current edge ending for uh, passing through this current bricks edge ending position and we are going to just subtract this total number of ending positions of all the bricks whose value is going to be like uh, less than or equal to the current position of this wall you can easily see and this is going to be our answer because if you subtract this value i have all the number of bricks whose starting position is like less than this position of this vertical line and whose ending position is going to be like greater than this position of this vertical line because we have already subtracted all the odd cases okay so if you're not going to under understand this entire scenario still yet no need to worry about I'm, I'm going to just explain all this entire scenario each and each step by step with the help of this coding part also let's try to implement this entire scenario in the coding section also okay so let's move further okay so you can see i have here written the code uh, so vector int is going to store the starting position of uh, every brick and vector int ending is going to just store the ending positions of every brick okay and n is going to just the number of rows of this wall okay now just iterating for every row i have just taken the sum as zero and uh, you can see for every position of this brick for this current row i just uh, pushed the starting dot push back the current coordinate of this uh, you can say the particular row that is brick present in that row and you can see i have just pushed the value sum plus one okay and ending dot pushback sum plus it that is the current ending position of this brick and just incremented this sum now one doubt that should arise in your mind that is why i have pushed this, this sum plus one why not sum that is going to be the ending position of uh, that is going to be the starting position of this current brick why not uh, sum and why i've just pushed sum plus one okay so let me clear it out that if you try to push this uh, you can say if you try to push this sum exactly and if you try to take the upper bound on this one uh, that is this is going to just include this positions also okay that is the those positions whose the starting position is going to just coincide with this vertical line but the ending position is going to be like greater than uh, this position of this vertical line i am not going to just consider all these uh, 
breaks okay so if i am not if i don't if i does not want to consider this position of this uh, brick that is the bricks of this type i'm just going to increment this uh, starting position by 1 okay so if we try to increment this starting position by 1 that is this starting position if this is going to coincide with the position of this vertical line it it will going to be incremented by 1 so this is going to be like just greater than this position of this vertical line okay and it is not going to matter for all those bricks that are already present over here okay so if i'm just going to increment this sum plus 1 and just then push this value into the starting vector and this is not going to affect my answer while taking the upper bound okay upper bound of this starting position if i am going to try to take on this vector okay so let me move further that is for finally i have just sorted the starting positions and sorted the ending positions okay now just you can see our maximum answer can be n just i have taken answer equals n and for every row and for every you can see the brick just have just iterated through m minus 1 that is m is going to the total number of bricks present over a particular row why m minus 1 you can see according to the according to the question i, I just not want the vertical line over this end of this wall okay so just have uh, doing the draw, trying to draw the vertical line over every edge of this brick that is every ending positions of this brick okay so just for the last brick i am not just going to draw a vertical line because this is going to coincide with the wall okay so just have iterated for m minus 1 and find the ending position which is going to be sum plus wall of ig and just to find out the total number of bricks uh, whose starting position is going to be like uh, uh, strictly less than the you can say the position of this vertical line that is going to be like sum uh, that is i am trying, trying to take the upper bound of this sum on this starting vector okay and let us let it denotes the number of bricks as count of start and i am just going to cal calculate the count of end also which is also nothing but upper bound of this value on this ending vector our answer to be like uh, minimum of answer comma count of start minus count of end total number of bricks that is not going to be like uh, crossed uh, that is not going to be like crossed okay sorry that is going to be crossed okay least amount of bricks for this current position of this vertical line and just trying to find out the answer for every Uh, brick okay and just finally write down the answer okay let me just demonstrate how this uh, uh, how in this case our answer is going to be zero also okay so if we try to just draw vertical line over this position you can see our ending position is like one so if we try to take the uh, upper bound on this one starting positions you can easily see our upper bound will come out to be two sorry three and if we try to take the upper bound on this ending position vector it will also come out to be this one okay 3 so 3 minus 3 would be 0 our answer would be like 0 okay so what is the total number of bricks that is going to be just crossed when we try to draw vertical line over this wall any suitable optimal vertical line our answer would be 0 in this case for this vertical wall okay so let me submit this code and check it out if this is going to be an efficient better solution using binary search lower bound or you can say the upper bounds okay yes it is good so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video